So we've wandered over to the digital yacht stand and um, I can see a couple of exciting products. I can see an Apple iPad with what looks like a marine chart on it and then I can see something in the background called IAIS, wireless AIS receiver and I can also see Paul Sumner who's Chief Technology Officer of Digital Yacht. So Paul, fill me in, what is IAIS? Well, IAS is the first AIS receiver that can actually wirelessly transmit this data. So any uh, phone, any iPad, or any even an iTouch can wirelessly connect to the IAS and receive live AIS data of all the ships in the surrounding area. That sounds incredible. So basically, it's an it's an AIS receiver. Yep, two channel. Two two channel AIS receiver, which then creates like a little internal Wi-Fi hotspot yep. for the iPad or iPhone or yeah, I touch as well? Yeah, you just connect as you connect to any uh, wireless hotspot, you select it in the list and then connect and with a few seconds connected and you start to get data coming wirelessly into your uh, iPad or iPhone. That sounds incredible. Absolutely amazing. And can you also get other boat data in, like instrument and GPS data? Yeah, I mean, the great thing about this is it's also got an NMEA input, so any NMEA 0183 data, GPS, instrument data, can be fed straight through and comes again wirelessly over the same connection that you're using for the AIS. So you get depth, wind speed, boat, and all the normal sort of instrument data we've got on the boat. Okay, well let's take a look and see what it will do on, a, on, a, on an iPad. Can we have a look at the navigation features? Yeah. Okay, so the blue triangle here is actually our, our GPS position, and that's a live GPS position from a sensor we've got on the... So there we are in, in Ocean Hall at the boat yep. show. And all the orange targets are the uh, Class A and Class B ships that are sailing past down Southampton Water. So if we move further up the water, you'll see a, here at Ocean, Ocean Village we have a target. If I click on that, it tells us the name of the vessel. Looks like that one's from Wales and it's got a course and speed over the ground displayed there and it's MMSI number in case you want to give it a DSC call. Fantastic and you can do all the normal things like zoom in, zoom out, absolutely pan the chart and it's so easy. You just click and drag to pan and then you can squeeze to zoom out or spread like that to zoom in. That's incredible. And, and that looks like a Navionics chart to me. It is. Yeah, this is, um, I mean, the iNavX application uses Navionics charts, so you get global coverage, very detailed charts, and, uh, and a reputable brand as well. So, Paul, tell me, what's, um, what's included in the IAIS package? Okay. At the heart of it all is the IAIS itself. Now, this is the dual-channel receiver with its NMEA input and its wireless interface part. So this is what it's creating, it's, it's, it's tracking the targets and then transmitting it to the iPad or the iPhone. And that little black antenna that's on the top, that's the Wi-Fi antenna? Yep, that's the, the Wi-Fi antenna that uh, links to the iPad or iPhone. Okay. And then what do you see on the iPad? On the iPad, you have a, a full navigation package from iNavX, and that's the uh, preferred application for this, for use with IAS. Expensive? I mean, it's, it's 299 plus VAT from the IAS receiver, and then the little iNavX application, which is the application we recommend for use for them, that is a full navigation application, and it's about 39 so you can get that on the Apple Store, download it in a couple of minutes. 